do you guys want to make some homemade caramel dipping sauce? Oh my gosh. If so, stay tuned because this is going to be amazing. Okay, so really, you guys, we only need... We only need three things. Let me get you situated and quit messing around here. Three things. We need a crock pot. Water. Sweetened condensed milk. Put that in there. Make sure it's covered. I think I'm going to have to add some more water. Hold on. So if you want, you can totally put um, a towel or a washcloth on the bottom. So some people worry that it's going to scratch their pan or whatever. Um, I'm not dumping that water out. I will go water a plant with it. So we cover our can with water. Put the lid on. And we're going to put it on low. You guys, we're going to cook this on low for eight hours. And just in case um, I lose you guys, I'll be back. But when it, after eight hours, do not open the can immediately. It is extremely hot, under pressure, and it will explode. Extremely hot. So, oh my goodness, yeah. While... Our caramel sauce, homemade caramel, is making. I am going to cut up some apples. I have a few apples left. Mm-hmm. Perfect for my dipping sauce. Oh, I might have to make some chocolates. Oh, my gosh. The options, the options are endless, you guys. I'm so excited now. So I'm just going to chop this apple up real quick. My Dollar Tree knife. Can't remember what farm we got these apples from. But they are very good. And these ones are actually grown locally. We used to go to, we used to go to one, you know, well-known one in the area. And I started asking them questions about their uh, apples and their squash. Come to find out, they don't even grow them. So I would rather, we found a place who actually grows them, and you can pick them there. All right, so here is our can of sweetened condensed milk that's been cooking in the crock pot all night on low. And let's just wipe this off. So I had mentioned, as soon as you take it out of the crock pot, do not open it. Warning, I'm telling you guys, You'll get burned. It's under pressure. It will explode. So wait until you can, um, it's cool to the touch. Then you can open it safely. Oh, I need a, uh, I need a spoon. Something to scoop it out. Spoon work. Did you hear that? Yeah, under pressure. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. That is some 
dark caramel. You know, get it out of the, I have a Tupperware container here. And you can always warm it back up to get it back to um, caramel consistency. Because as it cools down, yes, it's going to harden. It's caramel. That's why it's also good for uh, chocolate making candy. Maybe I shouldn't have let it cool down so much, but. Just cutting the core out of there. Well, I wished I wouldn't have let it cool down. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Crap. Can't double dip. <clears throat> I'm going to turn the up, turn it around. Take a chunk of caramel. Mm. <laughs> you guys, that bite was a little bit warm and so good. So, homemade caramel. Eight hours in the crock pot on low. Take it out, let your can cool down. Not too much, because then it's going to start to harden like mine did. But, like I said, you can always stick it right back in the microwave. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, let me eat this. Let's put a chunk on her. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm going to put it in the microwave. So maybe I'm a little impatient, but I'm not waiting anymore. I'm putting some on there. <laughs> but you can get it back, put it in the microwave, get it to a creamy texture. And it's amazing. Mm-hmm. I'm just impatient. It is so good.